How'd the first day of practice go for you? Uh, I think it went good, you know. Um, a little rusty with certain things, but that's how the first day always is. They have a lot more firepower on offense this year, which I imagine is testing you guys a bit more on the practice field. How much is that going to help you guys? Uh, tremendous. Close? You know, getting new looks and stuff like that, especially taking the top off. Teams love to go deep, so it's going it's to be something we're going to need in practice. Can Coach talk about you taking the and making calls? Um, what does it feel like to you for them to have that much confidence in you and being a missing? Uh, feels great, you know, kind of like being a coach on the field and you got to be a vocal leader, so you always need that on the field, too. I'm seeing a lot of new guys in the secondary. Just, I mean, how much have you guys started to, and obviously only the first day of ball game, but starting to like kind of gel and learn each other and what you guys do on the field and stuff? Uh, it's been great, you know, because you, you can see, like, we was looking out there, a bunch of young guys and older guys kind of mixing in when it was two, one, two, threes, it was three, you know, one, two, threes. Maybe everybody just kind of getting work. So. What did you think of Jane? Is he got a, got a pick early and we were able to watch earlier? Yeah, we were very excited for that one because he, he missed two before that, so he had he owed us two. <laughs> Obviously, it's safe that you and James started a lot of games here, but other than that, it's kind of not a lot of proven guys, transfers. Um, you know, just watching you in practice today, it seems like you're taking responsibility to bring guys along. Just what is that like? I mean, you guys need to find some reliable backups and, and other safeties there too, right? Like what, what, what's, are you kind of taking responsibility for helping those guys develop? Of course. Because they're the guys that I need to push them, so I have to make sure they can be in their game like I need. So whatever I'm doing, that's what I have to make sure I'm bringing them along. Um, I see something, they're saying something to them, and they're saying something, they're saying something to me. But at the same time, I'm not perfect, so at the same time, like, they just get better than I do. So we just feed off each other's name. You talked about it, I think, a little bit yesterday, just now an upperclassman, there's just that little extra confidence to be a lead. Like, is that kind of what it feels like for you? Does it feel different being yeah. an upperclassman and knowing people are going to be a little, little more respect. Not to say that the freshman can't say nothing, but it's more yeah. like when you got that experience on your ability, and you've been through, I guess, like down season, like us, you know how to step up close to you. That it's been like a shift in culture wise. Coaches talking about it a lot about talking about this. What, what's your take on that? How have you played? What part have you played in that? What was it like? What is it like now? Uh, I think the biggest thing, like I've been saying the whole time, is seeing something and saying something. You know, most of the time, guys are kind of like shy away from saying it, even though they're a younger guy or an older guy. If, if they see somebody that's, say, I guess, all American like me, they're shy away from telling somebody when they see him doing the wrong, doing something wrong. So I think that's the big difference. We hold each other way more accountable. What do you think worth the day today offense? Uh, I think, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say when we don't got no gear on. Because, you know, when they're trying to, when they're trying to run the ball, everything kind of getting pushed up and stuff. But I think in like the individual periods, like one-on-one, seven-on, I think the offense got the best of us today. But in, in the team periods, you can't really say we don't got no gear on. Differences in uh, Mario Cristobal at all, second year, first day? Um, nothing really changed with him. You know, he kind of, what you, what you see is what you get. So I guess, I guess he kind of keeps his consistency. I think um, he, I want to say he's more, I, I say he's more comfortable with us. And we're more comfortable with him. So it's kind of more, I guess, a better bond. Graham, what, what has the connection been like with Coach Guidry? Uh, he's working with you guys quite a bit. I, I know he likes to do creative things, but maybe talking to him and kind of just working together with him, what's it been like? It's been great. You know, he's always bringing energy and making sure you always on, your, on A1 all the time. And one thing he always is, like, he's real hard coaching on us. Anytime we make a play, he's our biggest fan. Is he saying something to you in terms of, like, maybe helping you on, on certain things? Has he helped you in particular um, that, you, that you can share? Everything. It's not one thing that he don't like hone in on. So like anything I'm doing, he make a shot. I can get better at it. The That's team's attitude, obviously last year didn't go the way you guys wanted. Is the team's attitude different right now than it was day one of practice last year? Can't really say the difference because I guess the, the first day of everything, you know, you're gonna be excited. Everybody gonna have that energy. So as, I guess as we go along, we'll see changes. Uh, just another question about Coach Kidry. This is your third defense coordinator. Uh, how do they compare? How does Coach Gidry compare to you know, Manny and Steele? And, uh, uh, all of them good. You know, it's, it's too too early to really tell. You know, we ain't, ain't playing no games. And all of them, you know, we kind of installing. Everything looks good. It is good. So we go still like pros and cons with every coach. So. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks,